Hey everybody, this is Laird of Garskat, and I'm going to do a video today on this website called ArmenianGenocideDebate.com. Uh, I've utilized for the first time a combination of my built-in iMac camera and uh, my tripod, you know, camera. And once again, I realized that I think my iMac camera is actually a lot better. But anyway, this website, uh, the reason why I'm covering this is because there's a lot of misinformation out there and uh, people who aren't aware of the Armenian Genocide are going to be misled by websites like these. So it uh, is pretty important to come up and address these um, websites completely. So this one's called ArmenianGenocideDebate.com. Now, um, first off, let me start off with a question. Does anyone else um, feel that people who have really bullshit um, perspectives on things, perspectives on uh, academic subjects, always want to look at things as a debate. I mean, uh, Q-Dragon, for example, recently did a video where he basically said that science is like fascism in, in regards that it's not a democracy. You can't establish... Uh, truth or fact by popular opinion you have to run it through a very specific regime regime the scientific method and arrive at an answer um, anybody who says this is a controversial topic and you need to look at all sides of a subject all sides of a subject and uh, they think that it's really academic really um, <laughs> and it's not and they think oh fair and balanced like Fox News no no, this is, there's only the truth, and there's evidence to support your perspective, and who has the best evidence is going to be the one who's respected. This website, ArmenianGenocideDebate.com, is one of those things that says, let's look at all sides of the debate, but there's a serious slant here that says the Armenian Genocide uh, didn't happen. But anyway, uh, first off, what do you notice when you look at this website here? Yeah, so um, here we have the uh, opening homepage of the Armenian Genocide Debate. And we're zooming in here. Hmm. These are uh, all the articles of the uh, site. Now, just uh, pay attention to, uh, to this. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do you notice anything peculiar here? Yeah. Yeah, you guessed it. Pretty much 99.99% of all the articles on this website are written by one person. And who this person is, I have no idea. It's some guy named Jonathan Wilson. Yeah, he's probably like the webmaster of this horrible website. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just, just showing you. There's like eight pages. What's interesting is that um, although this website's only been around since 2007, yeah, there's one guy, Alexis. Uh, yeah, apparently there's more than just Jonathan Wilson. But apparently this website's only been around since 2007, and uh, there's already like eight pages, eight pages of articles written by mostly Jonathan Wilson. I don't know. This is a, so far, this isn't looking pretty uh, fair and balanced. I don't know. Okay, next I want to uh, cover this. Um, this page is called Archives and uh yeah, you you'll see for yourself once I uh, scroll down here. Let's let's adjust the camera. Okay, yeah. Uh, what you're what you're probably not going to see since I guess the resolution is a bit fuzzy here, but uh, the archive section is incredibly small, and not only that, but oh, the each it it's tries to cover. I don't even know where to begin. Every single section here, like United States Archives, look at that. There are four bullet points. Do you know how big the United States Archives is? And do you know how much they have to say on the Armenian Genocide? 
look at this. The Russian archives are cl uh, will be updated. There's a little lock on the Armenian archives. Oh my God. And uh, oh yeah, Ottoman archives. Yeah. You know, Taner Akchem wrote a book and he got to actually analyze the Ottoman archives. And yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's not even, it doesn't even tell you where they got any of this. What is that? Warrant for arrest for Chimicum of Tonos. Like, what the hell does that have to do with anything? I don't know. This is, this is horrible. They don't, they don't tell you where they, where they get it in the Ottoman archives. It's, hmm. Next, I'd like to cover uh, one article that uh, Jonathan Wilson actually wrote, and it's on the first page, called Senator Barack Obama Discusses Armenian Genocide. This was written October 30th, 2008. Obviously, this is when Barack Obama was running for president. <clears throat> Here's what he says. He says, quote, The genocide that did happen to the Armenian people. The Turkish government has been in denial, and others too, and it has become a sore spot in diplomacy. I'll check with my staff before I sign on to that resolution, end quote. One question that would be asked is why the senator readily accepts the Armenian genocide when he is not a historian and is not qualified to comment on this controversial issue. He didn't say, I believe, or I think. He claims it did happen for sure, ignoring the historical disagreement on the issue. Senator Biden, Senator Obama's running mate, has been a sponsor of Armenian genocide bills and supported any tactics that could damage Turkish-American relations. Ignoring, obviously, the fact that, you know, yeah, Barack Obama did actually graduate from college and, uh, you know, is actually regarded as pretty smart, and uh, he's actually right to say that it did happen. Um, you know, oh, he's not a historian. He has no right to say anything about it. Yeah, that means that no one has a right to claim anything about the Armenian Genocide or any anything. No one is, if you're not an expert on one particular issue, then you can't say anything about it. Clearly not. N yeah. You don't need a lot of information in order to determine that something is pretty much true until proven otherwise. That's all I have to say on that. Now, uh, what I really wanted to comment on was this uh, comment that says it's um, supporting any tactics that could damage Turkish-American relations. Okay, the Ottoman Empire has been a firm supporter of America since the American Revolution, since the beginning, pretty much the beginning of our country as a independent country. Uh, they supported us heavily in the Civil War, and um, even during World War I, when the Ottoman Empire was supposedly at war with us, you know, we were at war with them, and, you know, basically we were trying to destroy them, or supposedly. We kept trading with the Ottoman Empire. In fact, um, both America and the Ottoman Empire were planning to expand and trade with the Ottoman Empire even during the war. They were like, uh, let's, let's buy some more stuff from you, America. And America says, let's, let's trade more. It was ridiculous. And Turkey is still a very firm ally of America um, and so I I wonder, since 41, or I don't know what the number is now, but 41 countries in the world, in the modern world, acknowledge openly the Armenian Genocide, America puts their stamp of approval and joins it and makes it 42 countries who say that the Armenian Genocide actually happened. Is Turkey going to say, we're not going to have anything to do with you anymore, America? <laughs> First of all, I hate to be, you know, I, I probably am going to sound really bigoted or whatever, but America really doesn't need Turkey too much, except for maybe the Iraq war. If it weren't for that, it's like, uh, we don't really need Turkey too much. And if they decide they don't want to trade with us anymore, you know, well, crap, that sucks. But you know what? If they decide not to trade with America anymore, uh yeah, Turkey is not really the doing incredibly well financially and uh they decide to cut off one of their major trading partners, one of their closest allies, uh you know, heavily traded partners, who's going to suffer more? I think if America accepts the Armenian 
genocide resolution, it's it's going to change nothing politically or economically between Turkey and America. So that's a really stupid thing for this guy to say. Anyway, that's all I, I that's all I have to say. Armenian genocide debate, really crappy website. If you are trying to look into more information about the Armenian genocide, avoid this website. It's misinformation. It's not a debate. In fact, one of their questions is, do you believe the Ottoman Empire committed an Armenian genocide? The, the question is absurd. It's like, what do you mean? There's no belief here. Did it happen or did it not happen? It's an academic question. It's not, do you believe that it happened or, or not? Oh, believe. It's a ridiculous question. The question doesn't make any sense. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this website. It's horrible. Don't look, you know, look at it and just say, don't take it seriously. This is Laird of Garskaden signing out.